Next, let's shade the intersection of the complement of A and B. So with these remaining examples, it's going to get to be a little bit more confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check off all the regions that represent the complement of A, just with a little check mark. So the complement of A would be everything outside of A. So that includes this region and this particular region. Now I'm going to shade the regions that include set B, which is going to be this region and this region. Now what they want in this question is the intersection of those two, so the common elements, which happens to be this particular region. So this is, would be not A and B. And the number of elements in not A and B equals 2. Let's look at this next example. So they want us to figure out the union of set A or the complement of B. So what regions belong to set A? This region and that region. Which regions belong to the complement of B? So it's everything outside of B. Now because they want us to shade the union, it would be elements that are part of the red set plus elements that are part of the blue set plus what they have in common. So really, it's going to be all of the regions except for the region that doesn't have any check marks in it. So this is called A or not B. and the number of elements inside of the set equals 17. All right, so here they, need, they want us to shade the intersection of the complement of A and the complement of B. So what's part of the complement of A? It's everything outside of A, these two regions. What's part of the complement of B? Well, it's everything outside of B, so this region and this region. Now they want us to shade the intersection of these two. So what do they both have in common? So which region do they both have check marks in? It would be only this outside region. So this would be called not a and not b so number numbers that are divisible by th sorry numbers that are not divisible by 3 and not divisible by 5 that would be all the numbers outside which happens to equal 11 in total okay so now the union of the complement of a and the complement of b so what was in the complement of a everything outside of a what was in the complement of B? Everything outside of B. Now they want us to shade the union of those two sets. So basically, what belonged to the red set plus what belonged to the blue set plus what they have in common, which happens to be everything except for this part right here. So we'll call that not A or not B, and the number of elements in not A or not B equals 18. So here they want us to shade the complement of the intersection of A and B. Okay, well, let's just think. What was A and B? It was just this region right here. If they want the complement of that, now they want everything outside.
which if you notice, happens to be the same as not A or not B. So you might think that you can distribute that complement symbol in, which is not the case, right? Because you can see that that does not equal what's above it. Okay, so this one we'd call not bracket A and B. And this would be okay. So the number of elements in the complement of A and B equals 18 in total. All right, let's look at this last one. So shade the, uh, the complement of the union of A and B. So what was the union of A and B? Everything in A, everything in B, plus what they have in common. If we want the complement of that, it now is going to be everything outside. Right? It's not going to be those three regions with the red check marks. Now, the number of elements in the complement of the union of A and B equals 11. And same thing as before. Right? It's actually equivalent to this set over here. It's not equivalent to A or, sorry, not A or not B. At the bottom, it says, as demonstrated in the previous lesson, we can see from the above Venn diagrams that these two are equivalent and these two are equivalent, which can just act as a shortcut to help us through some of these.